So today we have a new Gold Britannia. This is the 2008 one ounce coin. I'm going to pop the capsule open because it's got a few marks on it, but the coin itself is uh, rather nice. So Britannia is obviously the bread and butter of my stack, apart from uh, obviously the sovereigns, but generally in the bigger, you know, one ounce size, Britannias or similar are my preferred option. Like the Tudor Beast, the Queen's Beast, they're advantageous for us to buy here in the UK. So this is the one ounce gold, and I'll just show you compared to the one ounce silver, which I showed recently. So I managed to pick a few of these special years up not too long ago. And yeah, the silver ones, they show the design well. Uh, I probably do prefer the gold version though. What do you reckon? Do you like the gold version there, or do you prefer the silver in terms of looks? Obviously, if someone's gonna give it away, you'd want the gold one, surely, because it's worth more. But just in terms of the design, you know, how it looks. Um, there is a few scratches on that capsule, but the, the coin itself isn't too bad. So I personally think I would go with gold, but you know, the silver is it's a bit bigger with it being a 958 rather than three nines fine. That's why they are that bit bigger. It's Britannia silver. So let me just pop that capsule back on and uh, we'll flip them over. Obviously we've got Queenie there. There's a few marks just on the queen's cheek there, but um, you know, being a bullion coin, I'm not too worried. And this side is uh, obviously nice and clean, which is uh, the designer would tend to look at. So yeah, recently I did get the 2011, which you might have seen on a recent video, one of the other designs. And just here to the right, I have some other Britannia designs to show. So there's a couple that I don't have in gold yet, and the 2003 and the 2010, uh, there are some other designs, like I think 2009 was a different design as well. Um, you know, 2001, there are various Britannia designs. So I think I would like to pick them up over time. You know, I'm not too worried about chasing them at higher premiums, but if they come up at, you know, a similar price to bullion, then I would probably pick them up for something different. So in the UK, the 22 carat versus 24 carat, it doesn't really make any difference. The main thing is that the coins have a face value, so I'm not worried that this one is 22 carat, this one is 24 carat. That doesn't really make much odds to me because they're both uh, pound denominated. So I do like to have a bit of variety, but again, I still like to have some uniformity as well. Now we can see the 2023, which is the new Gold Britannia. Um, it's gone through some different designs over the years. They're not consistent with the designs the royal mint you know they don't change them every year they don't change them every other year they had a spell where they did and then for a few years it was fairly similar then they changed the alloy and then you know again they're changing the design every few years so 2021 2022 and 2023 britannias are the same uh, in terms of the coin apart from the obviously the date uh, and then we'll also get a new monarch in 2023 as well so in 2023, we will get the King's Portrait as well. So coming up, it will be two different monarchs on the one year. Maybe the Royal Mint will pull out another stunt to capitalise on uh, you know, the change of monarchs, make a bit more profit, who would blame them? Uh, and then obviously we have Britannia uh, depicted in the bar form as well. So I do quite like the bar, you know, the design. It's I, I mentioned in the video when I unboxed that, that... Uh, Quite a bit bigger than what I expected, you know, compared to one ounce in uh, coin form. But yeah, over the years, we've had some different designs. I quite like most of them. Uh, probably the sort of 2016, that kind of year, I'm not as keen on. Um, and again, you know, these early years, they are a slightly different colour. They don't have the same security features, so perhaps that would put some people off. But if you can pick them up, you know, again, it's Britannia, you're in the UK, it's a good call. If you are outside of the UK, maybe you want something different, you know, maybe these would make sense. But uh, again, 22 carats, so I know for some places like Australia, maybe Canada, it's not as good as buying, you know, four nines fine gold. And yeah, if I was in Australia, you know, you've got the kangaroo where they change their design each year. I imagine the kangaroos are the better option over there. And obviously in America, you know, again, you've got the eagles and buffaloes. So maybe if the premiums were super high on them, it might make sense to pick up a Britannia. But, 
you know, it probably doesn't make sense to go chasing the years and paying higher premiums unless you are just a collector. You know, you're just collecting, you're not that bothered about, um, you know, making a return necessarily. You are just interested in the coins and like the designs, for example. So in terms of the sizes, you know, there's not a lot of difference here in terms of the older and newer. But um, yeah, there is the alloy difference. So 22 carat, 24 carat, and that is uh, that is those. So yeah, I would like to pick up the 2010. Would be a nice uh, design to have. And the 2003, actually, I don't know why it's so popular, but it seems to get a lot of likes and uh, people are you know pretty keen on it. A lot of votes when I did a little poll. Most people preferred this design over the 2008 and the 2011. So. Yeah, an interesting one. Let me know which design you like best. Would you go for, you know, a particular year? Would you prefer the bar or would you like one of these? So talk to you in the comments.